Sometimes in rest, things don't always go your way. And most of the time, things never seem to go my way. Before going into the new wipe, we had a whole bunch of high quality metal on the base, so I decided to go to Bandit Camp and trade out for some scrap. So this way we could research the bolty and anything else we need before going into the server. Our base recently got attempted raided, and technically I'd say it was, but they got only trash loot. We moved it before they could get it. Now it's time to pay them back. Enjoy. New day, new me. And we already died because some two nakeds came over there. Much There's you. I'm just gonna step right Let's say about like two thousand. That should be good. After finishing what I was doing at the base, I decided to go hit up a recycler in the airfield to hopefully get some good scrap out of the recycling components. But, I managed to run to an enemy. Dude, combat wheel always fucks you up, man. Sadly, combat wheel did mess me up, but then three other people came in here and started taking them down. But they were missing all the shots and somehow I managed to get back up. I was pretty excited and I decided to run around the building to hopefully figure out a plan. I noticed two enemies would knock down the hallway and I heard more gunshots. I missed the first shot and the guy picked up the corner and he started shooting his bullets. Luckily I didn't take any damage. I went over to go pick up a revolver from a guy that had already died. I grabbed it, I aimed, and I just shot. And I managed to get him. Bro, oh, let's go! C4, bro. <laughs> That's exactly where it is. If you guys don't remember who these guys were, Starcore underscore XL was the guy from Last Wipe. And also was the guy that said he so called raided me if you've seen the live streams and I was talking about it. Now, of course, I was not the most prepared for the fight. I only had a bow and stuff, and it was a 3v1, they had DBs. So, I'm not going to complain. I knew I was going to lose. So, uh, I just had to make a plan. I decided to call up a friend from one of the streams, saying that he could help me if I give him the C4 that I got. Really, you're on. Because he already had explosives research, and he had a good team. I told him the names, I told him where to find them, and everything set into motion. The door campers, you say? Uh, I'm coming. Sadly, when playing Rust, and everything goes planned. As soon as they got there and I gave them the C4, they left, but the enemy was waiting for us. They somehow knew what was going to happen. They started chasing them down. So I grabbed my custom SMG and the DB, and I started gunning people up. They won. They're running back down the mountain. Got one. Got the other one. Yeah, I got the other two down here. 
Yeah. Watch out, watch out, top. Drop down, drop down. I only managed to get two of the enemies. Sadly. The other ones got away. I wasn't able to get there in time to stop him either from taking the C4 off my friend's body. Did you die? The only thing we could do is watch as they ran. Even after they ran back, they got more bows and just started door camping the base. Sadly, we couldn't really do much about it besides watch for a bit until they left. There's only one exit out of there. I went to the base to go get some stuff so we could move down to their base. So we could try to get sulfur, you could say, I guess. Because we planned on raiding them. Without a C4, it's going to be extremely hard for satchels only. I already knew their base loadout out as well. It was one sheet metal door, the first door, and then there's another sheet metal door, two garage doors, and then maybe another door at the end. So that'd be 26, maybe 30 satchels in total. I knew this was going to be a hard raid, but it's worth it. I think you guys know what time it is. It's not pro whip on touch. Just kidding. I'm way too lazy to do all that montage thing, bro. You you crazy. You really thought I was gonna do that? Nah. But seriously, let's get back to the video. I'm loud as hell. After getting enough sulfur, we decided to head to a random base that we thought had some good loot in it. Decided to go blow up some stuff. Something dropped down here. Yo, sulfur. Very nice. Oh, the chest right here is. Ooh, okay. Some high quality. Not high quality. Uh, some metal frags. All right. Pretty nice. Uh. Uh, I'd say decent, decent, decent. Sometimes in Rust, and everything decides to go your way, and this happened to be one of those days. Last night, I got off, and then the next morning, I woke up to messages on Discord saying that they got raided. All right, let me give you a nice rundown of the map real quick. Okay, so if we, if we zoom, zoom in here. All right, that's me. All right, this right here, the enemy. All right, don't forget that. And I don't know how to spell enemy. All right, and then the greens, greens are the allies. Okay, as far as I knew, I was allied with L7 and I9. I think that is. We're all focused on this team. Keep in mind, keep in mind, okay? That L7 and these guys, they both hate each other. They both, they hated each other. Okay? So, one of them, I'm not gonna say who, decided to raid the other one. Decided to raid the other one, who had all the explosives, and they were gonna help they were gonna help me raid these guys okay it's a very confusing map but you get the gist of it okay so I got a message this morning waking up and saying that the L7 guys raided the I9 guys who are gonna help me raid these guys so now we're back to square one so you may be asking, what's the plan, Omega? Plan? Well, here's what I usually like to say. When something doesn't go your way, 
Just gotta find another way. I just got back from going to the washroom. I heard rockets outside my base. I immediately geared up with the best kit I had, and I started fighting. None of my teammates were armed, so it was just me. Luckily, I knew some guys in the Allied base down the road. I called them up, see if they could come over. They said they'd be there in about 10 minutes. So I just had to stall. Bro, they're trying to raid me right now. They already blew through my walls and had an auditory setup so I couldn't leave the base. There's not much I could do in this situation. Yo, I got all my sulfur back, bro. I got all my sulfur back. I got no way to keep up the stuff, bro. Bro, I had like fucking 4,000 sulfur on me, bro. They tried to take all. Dude, listen, I'm getting most of them. They're freaking dying in here, bro. Uh, I think it's time to get out of here, boys. When playing Rust, most things don't ever go the way you want them to. And some things don't always happen for a reason. All you can do is just accept that and move on with life. I guess you could say this wipe wasn't the best one. I might give my revenge someday. I may have lost the base, but I definitely won the battle. Let's just say, some things don't always go my way. Hey, what's up guys? If you guys did enjoy the video, please do leave a like, subscribe, and don't forget to leave a comment saying that you enjoyed this. It really helps out and supports the channel. This is just me making the thumbnail art. The only reason I have this like thumbnail kind of idea is because I was in my base and I died from heat. So it's kind of funny. I was like, oh damn, that looks nice. I could use this. And here I am using this as the concept. You know, if you guys did enjoy this video, please do leave a like, subscribe, and do turn the notice again. Don't when I do the live streams or make a new video. Thank you guys so much. Peace out. Bye.